Good morning, students. I am Bhargava Srivastava from St. Vincent Parody College. I will be teaching you BDS semester 5 quantitative search techniques as your subject, and I will be dealing with unit 2 elements of calculus. You must be knowing during your these four semesters some of the things which is related to linear equations. And these linear equations, if I give you a practical example, suppose say total cost. You know that total cost is fixed cost plus variable cost per unit into quantity. That you know. So V and V, say for example, total cost is like rupees 10,000. And variable cost per unit is rupees 50. Quantity we will be representing in X and the total cost will be Now, the interesting thing in this equation is this is constant. This 50 is also constant. And X is variable and y is also variable. I think it is clear. Okay? So now the difference between these two variables is that this variable is independent. And this variable is dependent. Okay. That means y will completely depend upon x. x is quantity. Quantity we can move, we can move up, we can move down. But the total cost will be depending upon that. So that relationship is a relationship of function. That means y is function of x. And you have studied that in your unit number one variables and functions. So many things related to functions you have already studied. Now, in this unit, that is elements of calculus, we will be dealing with differentiation. So how it is related to all these things? Suppose I have to find change in y with respect to slightest change in x because y is a function of x. Y is a function of x. And we have to find the change in y with respect to change in x. Rather, change in y with respect to slightest change in x. And that will be dy by dx. dy by dx, that is the things which you are going to study in this elements of calculus. D by R D X. That is change in Y with respect to X. You can again write this. Slightest, slightest change in Y with respect to X. That is also called differentiation. I am writing in short. Differentiation of Y with respect to this thing to that sequence and then we will do further. Okay. There are some functions whose derivatives are written here. Like if y equal to x to the power n, then the differentiation of that d by the dx will be n into x to the power n minus 1. In the same way, if it is multiplied by c, y is c into x to the power n, then d by the dx will be n into c into x to the power n. If y equals to x, then its derivative d by the dx will be 1. If y is x to the base e, then d by the dx will be 1 by x. Same way, if y is, y is log of x to the base a, then its derivative becomes d by the dx equals to 1 by x log of a to the base e. And 
if y equals to any constant to the power x, that means x is here, here s power. So y is a to the power x, then d by dx will be a to the power x into log of a to the base t. If y equal to under root x, then d by dx will be 1 by 2 under root x. If y equal to e to the power x, exponential constant number, whose derivative will be same, that itself again is e to the power x. So these are the general rules of some of the functions which are key functions and other functions will be related to that only. The contents of unit 2 of differentiation is like this. Additions, subtraction, multiplication, division, chain rule and logarithmic differentiation. We will be covering addition and subtraction in this video. Addition will be covered. Before going to addition, I would like to explain one more rule, a very practical rule and very important rule is if y equal to c into x to the power n, say for example, it is multiplied with constant, then the differentiation will be, then the differentiation will be c into n x to the power n minus 1. And the same thing would be there in case of other functions also. If it is multiplied by constant, then the derivative will also be multiplied by constant. Now we are coming to addition. Let us take a <laughs> Let us take an example. If y equal to x to the power 6 plus under root x, I have given a very easy question just to explain the things. Then, how we proceed? The first step will be d1 to a differentiation, d by the dx. That will be d by dx of the whole of right hand side x to the power 6 plus under root x. So what it will be? It will be d by the dx equal to d by dx of x to the power 6 plus d by dx of under root x. So now the last is to d by the dx. You know x to d by dx of x to the power n is n into x to the power n minus 1. And d by dx of root x is 1 by This is the differentiation of very first question or very easy question I have given just to explain you how addition goes. I have taken another question y equal to 6 into x to the power 4 plus 2 into e to the power x plus 13 to the power x plus 1 by x plus 4 into log x. I have taken a question which will cover our all functions gradually one by one step by step. So, how to solve this question? d by the dx will be d by dx let me d by dx of 6 x to the power 4 plus 2 into e to the power x plus 13 into power x plus 1 by x plus 4 into log that is first. Second step will be d by dx of 6 into x to the power 4 plus d by dx of 2 into 2 into e to the power x plus d by dx of 13 to the power x plus d by dx of 1 by x plus d by dx of 4 log x. So now, d by, by dx of this will be 6 into 4 into x to the power 4 minus 1. As our root says, d by dx of c into x to the power n is c into n into x to the power n minus 1. N minus 1. Plus, here it will be 2 into e to the power x. We know differentiation of exponential to the power x is same exponential to the power x and when it is multiplied by constant, the result will also be multiplied by constant in the same manner. Yes. 
here it is a to the power x this formula will go that is 13 to the power x into the power 13 plus here it can be solved in this manner also that I am doing first I am taking x into the numerator and power into the negative one plus I am leaving this here I will be solving gradually and here it is solved d by dx of 4 log x is 4 by dx now everything is going on shape I will be just that will be 24 into x to the power 3 plus 2 into exponential to the power x plus 13 to the power x into log 13 now this is important x to the power n is what? n into x to the power n minus 1 I've done that plus this is what? 4 into you can put 4 by x also you can put right like this also both are correct p by by dx will be 24x cube plus 2 into e to the power x plus 13 to the power x log 13 minus x to the power minus 2 plus plus 4 into x to the power minus 1 the solution the solution can be written like this also d by dx 24 x cube plus 2 e to the power x plus 13 to the power x log 13 minus 1 by x square plus 4 by x both answers are correct either you write in this form or you write in this form now we will be dealing with the topic subtraction. Before going to subtraction, I would like to give you some more rules like if y equal to 1 by x to the power n, then what happens? It is like this y equal to the second step, it will be x to the power minus. Then when we will be in this d by dx, then it will be d by dx of x to the power then it will be e by dx equals to minus n into x minus n minus 1 then e by dx will be minus n into x to the power minus in bracket n plus 1 so e by dx will be minus n by x to the power n plus 1 the example if y equal to 1 by x to the power 6 you can see d by by dx first it will be minus n that is minus 6 divided by x to the power n plus 1 that is x to the power 6 plus 1 you can write one more step we can be d by by dx will be minus 6 by x to the power 7 that is the example of this there is a question related to subtraction but I have given some addition also in between so that the concept of the students will be very clear and I have taken minus as powers also okay and I have dealt with the things like a to the power x also so all these things mixed together in this question y equal to 7 into x to the power minus 6 minus 3 into log x plus 4 into e to the power x <coughs> minus 5 into 14 to the power x minus 4 into under root x now let us start d by by dx will be d by dx of 7x to the power minus 6 minus 3 log x plus 4 into e to the power x minus 5 into 14 to the power x minus 4 into 100 x. So d by dx will be d by dx of 7 into x to the power minus 6 minus d by dx of of 3 into log of x plus d by dx of 4 into exponential to the power x minus d by dx of 
5 into 14 to the power x minus d by dx of 4 and a d by dx 7 into minus 6 if minus is there in 1 into x minus 6 minus 1 minus it is very easy 3 into log x means 3 into 1 by x d by ds of log x is 1 by x plus 4 into d by ds of e to the power x is e to the power x and when constant is multiplied in the answer also constant is multiplied minus 5 into 14 to the power x into log 14. We know d by dx of a to the power x is a to the power x into log a minus 4 into 1 by 2 x. So d by the dx will be minus 42 x minus 7 minus 3 by x plus 4 into e to the power x minus 5 into 14 to the power x into log of 14 minus e to the cancel there so it will be 2 by x that is the x for this subtraction so what has happened here that whenever sign is changed from plus to minus we have taken that we have done the treatment according it is nothing like uh, conceptually it is not very different with addition both the things are same only the when sign gets negative we have to deal with it accordingly same way when it is in power also if it is negative we deal with it in this video we had dealt with addition and subtraction and before that we had given all the formulas and try to understand the basic concept of differentiation now, after this, in the next video, we will be dealing with multiplication and division. And further, we will be dealing with further division. Thank you very much. All the best. Thank you.